Hi guys, my name is Arvind and this is my second video for the Hamsa contest. The last video I made was not inspiring enough so I decided to make a new one. And in this video I'll be talking about four main things that are destroying society. Fast food, social media, porn and drugs. Starting with fast food, it started around in the 1940s. Nowadays it's a part of everyone's diet. What happens due to over continuous consumption, changes in DNA over time. New genes will be expressed in the next generation. This can lead to the development of new diseases. Currently, obesity, diabetes, erection issues, and cardiac problems are at an all-time high, especially obesity in teenagers these days. Second, social media. It's a great tool to build businesses and connect with people, but it's a great distractor. It generates FOMO, anxiety and depression, irregular sleep patterns, and lots more. It creates a bubble for everyone in which all of us are kept immersed. This causes us to distance ourselves from friends and family while the real world is happening outside. You have to go outside and talk because that's what we as humans are meant to do. Third one, porn. I've explained a lot about porn in my previous video so this time I'm keeping it short. The thing about porn is that after having an orgasm, you lose or you eliminate the energy which makes you feel tired and sleepy. Everyone knows this. That same energy can be used to create something. Nowadays, any guy can see thousands of naked women online and then why would you go out and talk to them, right? Lastly again, brain fog is one of the main things, side effects of TMO which causes us to mm, do stupid things later. Drugs. We are available in the nook and corner of every street, street consumes, just consumes time and money and can give us a different perspective and all but only lasts, feels good for a short time. Now moving on, I'll explain the two main tools that I've used to recover. They are meditation and exercise. Exercise to distribute the excess energy throughout the body. This makes sure that you don't have any stagnant energy in your body. And an important tip for teen, teenage boys is that you have to go out every day you should be involved in a physical activity that leaves you exhausted. Go out and play a sport or go to the gym, run or walk. The benefits of exercising, physical activity benefits the brain and the body. It improves overall blood flow to the organs, making you fit. So don't be the guy who watches the gym from distance or don't be the other guy who doesn't lift weights in the gym. Go out and play with them. It doesn't matter if you fail. If you are a man, you need to know what your body is, body can do. So push, pull, lift, whatever it is you like to do. Second and most important tool, meditation. Meditation is just magical, so I suggest you guys start meditating. It's so beautiful that I can go on for hours and hours talking about its benefit. How does meditation benefit us? It helps you to understand or realize what's going on inside your head. As you can see here, the dog is the practice of meditation and your ground is your head and the heart. So the more you meditate, the deeper you are able to go. Inside the head, what happens is that for a normal person, there are random thoughts and a normal person reacts to these thoughts impulsively. For example, you were doing something and suddenly out of nowhere you just picked up your phone and after 15 minutes you realize that you just lost 15 minutes. How does meditation help in this scenario? It lights up the distractive thought and then your awareness is able to understand that's a distractive thought. When you reach this stage, you will automatically say no to such distractive thoughts and you will be able to focus on the task at hand. Now, meditation's effect on the heart. It brings the feelings to the surface. For example, if you're feeling sad, you'll understand that you're actually feeling sad. Thus, you can choose the way you want to respond to your emotions. And the best response to sadness is by crying. And if you cry, you are actually healing yourself. You are eliminating unwanted baggage from your heart. Now, I've talked about the four main destroyers of society. But has society taught you about its ill effects? Or uh, everyone says that we should not eat fast food, we should not do drugs and watch porn and stuff. But has anyone thought anything about this? So what I mean is that we are not equipped to deal with these things, but they are easily available to us. And then society blames us for overindulgence. These things need to be taught in school. They must be made a part of the curriculum. By implementing it in schools, we will be able to save a huge portion of the next generation. Or else, children will, all, will try all these things. And by the time they become aware, they will be obese, drug addicts, porn addicts and uh, probably walking around like zombies. And lastly, before I end this video, I just wanted to share my thoughts about reality. 
everyone has their dreams and their own ideas but when reality hits it hits hard like a train 90% of people climb on the train and goes wherever reality takes them that's how they end up doing things that they don't want to do but if you want to achieve something in life you have to be able to control that train and the only way by this is possible is by discipline and remember you are the hero of your own story so do you want to have a peaceful ending or a boring one so that's it guys that's it for my second video i hope this inspires someone and take care bye love you